Thank you for joining the Paul Robeson House of Princeton's second scholar feature conversation with Moji Sola Ayodele, freshman athlete scholar at NJIT, and Joycelyn Broby, freshman artist activist at Colgate University of New York. For this month of November, we focus on college life and gratitude. So, Moji, we are really delighted at the Paul Robeson House of Princeton to feature our college undergrads in our gratitude podcast. We've been reflecting on the things that we're grateful for, and we really are grateful that we've had an opportunity to see you and Joycelyn do amazing things. So take a moment, if you would, and update us. How are things going? Um, what kinds of things are you grateful for uh, as a college freshman? Um, yeah, so obviously I'm having my freshman year here at NJIT, New Jersey Institute of Technology. Um, I'm a part of the soccer team here and I'm thankful for that, especially to be playing soccer at such a high level and also be doing it with academics is just such a gift. Um, and I'm thankful for my team. I've never been on a team where it's been so, um, we've been so close and genuine to each other. And I think I, I couldn't get through college soccer with school without them because we're all like there for each other. If any of us needs help, like we're all, we just want to see the best out of everyone. And that's very hard to find, especially with women in, in sports. Um, Oh, what else I'm grateful for? I'm grateful for my coaches for giving me the opportunity and for seeing something in me and to continue to see something in me here and to see my potential and wanting to and figuring out the best ways for me to grow as a player and as an academic student. Um, I'm thankful for my parents because they're I luckily I'm I always said I wanted to go far away, but I'm I'm still close to home and uh, I see them often and uh, I really like that I'm I'm close to them and that they're, they're still a, a prominent figure in my life and they help me a lot. That's amazing. I think it's really easy to lose sight of the role your parents play in your life when you are a college, uh, pre-college student. So as a senior, you're like, oh, I just want to get away. I need to do something different. And then the value starts to hit you that, wait a minute wait a minute, there's an opportunity in sort of being with the people that have nurtured me this far, who've been amazing mm -hmm. um, and allowed me to grow. We asked her also about her life as a soccer player in college. What's it like for her impact? Yeah, so one of the beauties about college soccer is you're surrounded by people from all over the world. Like we have players from as far as Portugal, New Zealand, to just close as like New York, New Jersey. We have players from North Carolina. We have players to like from Pennsylvania nearby, but like you, you get all these people from different backgrounds and they grew up in different, different schooling, different like households, et cetera, et cetera. And it's funny to talk to them and you know things that they don't know. Um, some specifically about social justice or, or anything around around that and it's 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 nice to like if it just randomly comes up in conversation like I, there's been multiple times when I've like explained something to my teammates like wow like like I'm happy like that I can learn this from you and that it, like could and it's it's also crazy to think that like I was like oh Princeton high school like I only learned so little like I want to learn more but we learn way more than in other schools and that's what I'm learning right now so it's, I, it's nice that I could share what I learned in Princeton High School, but also like what I taught myself and what we, what we taught ourselves in care and, and share that with, with my team. That is one of the reasons why college is so amazing. I remember that meeting people from all over the world um, is a gift that you don't even predict. And so your life as an athlete, I think contributes to how wonderful that experience is. You know, I'm thinking about 
a quote of, of Paul Robeson. He said, we must join with the tens of millions of people all over the world who see in peace our most sacred responsibility. And to me, I'm like, he was a man before his time. Mm-hmm, when you think about what's happening right now um, in the world. Uh, do you think it'll ever be possible to achieve peace? And um, yeah. It's like, you could think like, was he ahead of his time or have things just not changed? <laughs> <laughs> and that that's that's I think is a really important question and and you know it's up to your interpretation but also well I'll, what do you think do you think he was ahead of his time or do you think things just haven't changed I think things have changed but it's like we're the world I think okay I'm trying to make make this make sense. I <laughs> so obviously the world progresses. There's it progresses through technology, through relations, through travel, through everything. So the world is evolving. So has the like does it equal out? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like, is what was happening then the same now, just at like a different level? If that makes any sense. I don't know. I think definitely, you know, you can't take away from the fact that we've come a long way. Like, you know, I wouldn't say slavery is abolished, but it's, you know, I, I'm in college right now and I'm, you know, but. And you understand that it's not that simple. Yeah. 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 New Jim Crow is real. So Moji, oh my gosh. I, when I tell you that we always knew that you were magnificent. <laughs> That, I mean, what you just said is just such a mature thought. And I think that um, everyone should ask the same kind of question. We also took the time to catch up with scholar, artist, and activist, Joycelyn Brobe, taking some time to talk from her dorm room at Colgate. So Joycelyn, at Colgate, um, where do you see evidence of how art is used to sort of transform the community? Is that something that you're able to see more now? Or is it still something that you're hoping to see as you navigate your experiences in in New York? Um, Well, I don't really see art implemented much in um, my uh, level of studies, but I try to implement it myself. Um, For example, during um, a summer program that I was accepted into, I try to implement art as much as I could when we had um, projects. Um, The first art project was a collage project, and we were supposed to make a political statement out of it. And the statement I chose was her body, my rights, because we were talking about, um, I chose the topic of women's rights. And I was very happy with how the collage turned out. And my teacher was also very happy with how the collage turned out. And the second one um, was for a women's studies class. And we were, um, we all had to choose topics to study. And I chose to um, study the sterilization of Native American women. And um, I made a wire sculpture of a woman, um, a pregnant woman behind bars to um, kind of show how Native American did not have agency over their own bodies and uh, so on and so forth. So I kind of, I try to, I try to do art in my own way, even though it's not too much implemented into what um, I study here. That is amazing. I can't help but think about how those messages of being behind bars and how our bodies are bound versus unbound or free and um, conversations about how women are taking this moment in our human history and making our issues so visible. So I think it's quite relevant that you are using your artistic mind to engage your thinking about all of these topics. In November, we hope to focus just in general on Mm -hmm. gratitude and ways that um, being grateful 
uh, allows us to heal and reset for the new year. What would you say are some of the things that you're most grateful for now? Um, I'm grateful for my family a lot because I feel like when we come to college or a lot of freshmen come to college, they, you don't really think about the people you had in your life constantly before. But now that I've been here, I kind of reflect back on it. And I'm just like, I was around these people 24 seven and I really never showed enough gratitude for them. But now that I'm up in Madison or Hamilton, New York um, by myself, I think about them a lot more and I, uh, I show gratitude a lot more by calling them and you know, thinking about how important they were in my life. And as well as my teachers, my high school teachers, um, just people, friends, everyone who was close to me before. Um, you kind of forget that people hold a lot of value until you lose them. So kind of, I like to reflect back and was like, okay, this is what I had and I have to appreciate it a lot more. That is truly something that I wish more people would realize that the value of, of the human experience really rests in who we are as a collective. And so I appreciate that that's the approach that you're taking to checking in with your family. So in our closing thoughts, I'd really like to sort of get um, a peek into where you're going. So you're about to finish your first semester yes. and then you'll have your break. Where are you going next? What happens next for Joycelyn? So I have to curate my own um, courses. So the next step for Joycelyn is to um, find an academic advisor and basically plan my future. So that's very nerve wracking, but at the same time, I'm very excited for it. In 1973, Freedom Way Journal, edited by Judge George Crockett, celebrated the life and legacy of Paul Robeson, writing that Paul Robeson was a freedom fighter, embracing international need for peace and equality. Robeson was a Renaissance human being, his stature as a world figure rising not only from the standards of excellence which he maintained in all of his endeavors from early youth, but from his internationalism, which permeated his life and his work as an adult. We celebrate our scholars who are turning into adults and celebrate and recognize the accomplishments of Mojisola Iodeli and Joycelyn Brobe. Join us next time. Thank you.